Side jump over, curtsy touch down. So you could step over if you wanted to instead of jumping over if you're not able to jump or you need low impact because it's too noisy in your house. Keep your chest up, shoulders down, jump with your knees coming up, not your body coming down. This is a great cardio if it's too cold like here to go running or you're not feeling 100% and you don't want to risk getting sore throat or something. This is a great indoor cardio. Great fat burning. It will burn fat after the workout with your metabolism sped up. Hand release push ups. Two, one. So if you want to with this one, you can come up onto your knee. Okay, you don't have to do the full, or if you're working and can do the full, do two full, three knee. Squeeze your glutes, abs are tight, body's in alignment, elbows are in if possible, inner thighs are working. There's no rush, you do it at your speed. Few more seconds, two and one. Next exercise. So we're gonna do a kick through this exercise. So you, the faster you go, the more cardio you'll get, but make sure you have technique. So kick, kick, kick. This is great core and oblique work, especially if you raise the leg up Squeeze the elbow in, great rotational work, excellent for shoulder conditioning, got everything you need. You could just do these three exercises and you've done better than no exercises at all. Fifteen seconds. the yoga block jumps, land softly, use your core, pick up your knees, if you can't jump over you could lift, lift over, okay, there's always alternatives. Try to land as soft as possible, that will engage your core more, be more gentle in your joints. The weight bearing exercise is good for bone density. Next exercise. Reverse plank knee tucks. So you lift your hips up and you knee tuck. If this is too hard, knee tuck. Okay? Keep pushing the hips up really high. You should feel your glutes and your hamstrings. I have to keep readjusting and pushing myself up here. At any time, you can go into a the bent leg version and keep going. 15 seconds. This is all body weight. You don't need a gym, this is all at home. Two, one. And a great stretch for the shoulders. So prisoner jump squat, knee to elbows, hands behind your head. Core is on, coming 
coming down, jumping up, knee up. Jump squat, knee up. Using your core to keep your chest up, you're only going as low as your body allows you. So if you can only go to here, that's perfect too. I go deep because I don't have any issues with my knees, so I'm fine to do that. Again, there's no bad exercise. There's only exercises that your body prefers not to do because it's either not ready or it's got an issue. And you can find an alternative. Like here, you could do a deadlift, knee tuck, taking the pressure off the knees. You have to educate yourself through the process. What is for you? one-legged dog. So leg is up, knee tuck. Leg up, knee tuck. Keep those arms nice and strong. Push over your shoulders to get a bit more conditioning. Bring your knee up into your chest to make it a stronger core. And move less if you have less flexibility or you're not able to move as far because your strength is still developing. change sides, breathe deeply, get ready, keep going, you're doing fantastic. Great way to develop flexibility too. It's almost like leg kicks, so you can really work on your dynamic flexibility, try and straighten your leg. You work on your core and compression by bringing your knee into your chest. 10 more seconds. Last one. So, Next exercise, side jump over, side kick. So jump over and then from here, step behind and kick. Jump over, step behind, kick. Nice lot of cardio. Ten seconds. Last one. So bicycle is the next exercise. Feel your core. One. So you're rotating side to side. If you can't hold yourself here, hands can come back and you can twist yourself side to side. Try to hit the knee 
with your elbow. Focus on either the leg coming in or out. That will take the coordination down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Fifteen seconds. Two, one. <laughs> Side crunch is next, so his core should be burning. So you're on your side here. Get ready for that. Let's do this. Hand comes behind your head and you lift up. You can bend your legs if you need to to make it a little less intense. If you're starting to feel tired or you're still developing that strength. I'm going to do the side V up to make it a little harder. seconds. I'm feeling it. Don't stop if you can help it. If you need to scale back, scale back. Slow down, but don't stop. Two, one. Ooh. Let's switch sides. Ready? Three, two, one. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember if you need to scale back, scale back. But just try to keep going with proper form. Nearly there, 10 seconds. Maybe you're not feeling it and you could speed it up. Two, the last one. Whew. So side jump lunge knee up is next. You still gotta use your core a bit more leg based. Two, one. Swap, knee up. Okay, switch weight in the heel, knee up. Chest is up, back is flat. So an alternative would be step here, touch, go the other side and then knee up. So you don't have to have the jump, okay? So you can bring it down to low impact, take out the jump if it feels better for your body or your environment that you're in. Five seconds. Chest is up, shoulders down, belly button in. One. All right. So now we have knee tuck, ankle cross, push up, alternating. So knee tuck, cross ankles, Push up. So knee tuck, you can come down on your knee, cross ankles, push up. You can do it all on your knees. Knee tuck, cross ankles, push up. All the options are there. Head up, core strong, no rush. equipment necessary. Make sure you do cool down and stretching. See you soon. Ciao!